All right, so next on the agenda is I'm gonna make some bus bars. Over the weekend, I went down to Lowe's and picked up some 12, is it AWG or gauge? I don't remember. It's 12 gauge or 12 AWG solid copper wire. Now I couldn't find any that was already <laughs> stripped, of course. They did have some that was stripped in the six or eight gauge, but I couldn't find any in the 12. And I almost went with the six gauge wire, but I just didn't. I really like the way the twisted stuff looks, I don't know, it's just wire, right? I mean, doing it this way is just a little bit cheaper, but you do end up doing just a little bit more work. I don't mind a little bit more work. That's what we're here for, right? DIY everything.
Now, <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is you should not do. It is not the proper way or anything like that. I just didn't have the right connectors, the right eyelets, so yeah, don't do this. So you can cringe and point and laugh all you want, but I'm doing it anyway. And then at the end, I'm gonna probably solder it because you'll see why. Now, are you more impressed with my vice smashing abilities or the ability to cover it up with heat shrink so nobody else can see it? All right, so yeah, just like I was saying, I didn't have the right lugs or the eyelets, terminals, whatever you want to call them. I'm not even sure what size these were actually for. What I ended up doing was splitting down the top side so I could spread it open a little bit further just so I could shove the two wires in. Definitely do not do this. You know, this is a test pack. It's not gonna be perfect. I think this will be, it'll be just fine. Oh, and my uh, my old time crimpers that I have, they don't even go, they won't go this big. So I wouldn't have been able to even do that. So really the only thing I had was the vise. I guess I could have gone out and bought some more connectors, but whatever. I would have used some copper pipe if I had the right size, but I don't even have the right size of that. So this is the only thing I came up with in a pinch because, you know, it's after work and nothing's open. So there you go. You can make fun of me all you want. I thought they turned out pretty good though. I don't really like this style of bus bars, you know, with the whole crimping of the lug on the end. I actually prefer the other way that I did for my power wall where you put the two wires on the end because everything is a little more flexible. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've never done it like this before. Maybe other people have better luck. I don't know. We'll see. Now that the bus bars are made, the next video, I'm trying to make these videos kind of short, you know, not like 30, 45 minutes long where I do a whole bunch of stuff into one video because whenever you do a video that long, it's a lot of editing. I mean, of course I do a lot of editing on these little videos, but I can knock these ones out pretty damn quick. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of short videos. Is that even the right way to do that? Probably not. When people do this, I don't really know what that means. The wife makes fun of me for using those incorrectly all the time. That's fine. Uh, you can make fun of me for that too. Yeah, so the shorter videos, I know they're like 14 minutes long or so. Hopefully they're entertaining enough. I'm putting a lot of effort into it. Yeah, I know the bus bars I did and didn't put effort into them. I probably could have put a little bit more into it. Really, that would just be the connectors, but we're going to look past that anyway. I mean, I originally wasn't planning on doing these videos because I wanted to get it done as fast as I could, so I could throw it out faster and sooner. There was a lot of requests to see this little build process. So that's why you guys are seeing all these quick little videos. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up, even if you don't like the video. I'm just kidding. That's what the thumbs up and down is there for, so do whatever you want. The thumbs up, you know, it does give me kind of a, an indicator whether the video was good or not. You guys want to see them, so this is what I got. All right, now that the bus bars are made in the next video, we will most likely be attaching said bus bar 
cigars to these four packs. I'm gonna try to spot weld as much as I possibly can. Bang good. Sent me out a TS80 smart soldering iron the other day. So what I'm thinking about doing is possibly trying, I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna do it or not. I have to look up all the specs on this, but if I can't, you know, whatever I can't spot weld, I'm gonna attempt to do with this, unless this won't do it. If this won't do it, then I will probably use my normal soldering iron that I have. Temperature range on this guy says 100 to 400 C. The input voltage is nine volts and a, Ooh, 18 watts. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna do it. Maybe I should use this to replace those capacitors in the antimatter. The original plan was to replace the capacitors with the new capacitors that Pete so kindly sent out. I mean, that was pretty much the only reason he sent me the his antimatter because he was sending me the new capacitors. Um, I had another guy. I have so much crap over here. It's in here somewhere. There's another guy. Um, I've got his package. Package. I have the partial that he sent over here and his name's on it and as soon as I get to that of course I'll give you a big shout out and of course Pete a big thumbs up for sending me out your broken antimatter and the brand new capacitors so maybe I'll do that with this because this is probably not going to cut it but I hear they're pretty decent soldering irons does anybody else have one of these TS 80s are they good are they so so let me know what you think I also all right I already forgot what I was talking about I get sidetracked really easy sorry about that uh, next video is going to be attaching the bus bars to the batteries I'm going to use the Arduino spot wielder wielder Arduino spot wielder by the power of Ray Skull. I'm gonna use the Arduino spot welder as much as I possibly can. I did order some 24 gauge nickel coated wire so I could do the spot welding at least for the negative side. And I'll also attempt to spot weld all the glass fuses which I did get from Keith. I got the one amp axial glass fuses from Keith. I actually got 3,000, not all for this project, obviously for my power wall as well, as well. On the last 14 packs I used the .5 axial glass fuses and those pop at two amps from my testing. The one amp also pops at two amps but with just a hair difference in resistance from these to the other ones. That's it. There's not really much of a difference. You know what? In all actuality they're probably the same damn fuse and that's a slow burn. That's how I test all of them. I don't have anything to do like burst amps or anything like that so two amps is a slow burn and two amps in my personal opinion is perfect for these batteries because Typically, we're only drawing a max of one amp per cell, so two amps for a fuse is more than double, you know, so that's plenty in my opinion. So if you're using something higher than that, good luck. I'm just kidding. That's just what I'm doing. All right, make sure you give me a big thumbs up for all these videos and knocking them out as fast as I possibly can. It is a crap ton of work. I'm out here, well, I am down here pretty much working until 4 a.m. and then maybe go to bed around that time um, to knock these videos out as as fast as I possibly can and as always everything I'm using all the chargers the fuses from Keith the what was that the cell holders everything I'm gonna have a link for everything down below it would be awesome if you guys used an affiliate link it doesn't cost you anything extra and of course I can't see what anybody buys or or anything like that all I do is just get a tiny percent and it all goes back into the YouTube channel so any purchases with an affiliate link would be super awesome oh Terry from power to spare just listed a whole bunch of medical cells so if anybody is interested in medical cells make sure you click on the link down below yeah so that's pretty much all i got don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you can share these videos if you guys want to and i'll see you on the next one took a little trip down to lowe's and got some 12 12 gauge um 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 uh, um um uh, um um now this next part um but with just uh there's another word i want to use in front of this word but there's just a hair difference in resistance um